In this video, I will be explaining the Wheatstone network and how to implement it in the form of a meter bridge setup. Wheatstone network and how to implement it in the lab in the form of a meter bridge network. Okay. So, first I will explain what is a Wheatstone network or Wheatstone bridge. See, it's a circuit of this form. Let me draw it quickly. We have one more resistance like this. Then you have one more resistance like this. Then you have one more resistance like this. Four resistors. Yeah, four resistors. Mm -hmm. Then in between, you will have a galvanometer. Galvanometer. Yeah, to detect whether current is flowing or not through this middle branch. So this will contain the galvanometer. So we will call these resistors P, Q, R, S. S. And the points, ah, now we need to supply current. So So this is going to be the cell. Okay. Yeah. And then we need a key. Yeah, so this completes the Wheatstone bridge. See, the reason it's called a bridge is like is like this. We imagine from this end A. You want to go to end. Uh, let's call this B, C, D. Suppose you want to go from end A to end D. Imagine that you are going by walking across a bridge like this. Mm -hmm. These are the two parallel paths. Mm -hmm. And this is the ring of that. It's like a ladder. Mm -hmm. This is the in between the middle stick of the ladder. Mm -hmm. So this looks like a bridge. According to whoever named it, we stop. That, is, that must be Mr. Wisto. Okay. Now why we are so interested in this circuit is suppose the points B and point C are at same electric potential. If point B and C are at same potential, what will happen? Okay. Let us see what will happen. If B and C are at same potential, you know that A is at some potential, B A. B is at some potential, B D. Okay, now let us see what happens if potential at B is equal to potential at C. Then what will happen? Potential difference between A and B is some value. Yeah. Potential difference between A and C will be same or different value? Same. Same, because potential at B is same as potential at C. Yeah. So potential difference across A, B. See, potential at A is say some value, say 50. B is say 100. Uh, B is say 20. So the difference is 30. Now C also has to be 20. Because B and C are at same potential. So again A is already at 50. So potential difference between A C is also 30. 50 minus 20, 30. I am saying if it is equal, what will happen? Okay. Let us see. So let us take the case where potential at B and C is equal and see what happens. If you assume it to be equal, then what will happen is the potential difference between A and B, A and, B and the potential difference between A and C will be same. Agreed or not? Yeah. So if potential difference across, 
So let us say potential difference across resistance P should be equal to potential difference across resistance R. Agreed or not? Yeah. Yes. And potential difference by Ohm's law is IR. Yeah. So let us say the current which flows from the battery is I. And let us say the current I splits into two parts, I1 and I2. Okay? Clear? So, the uh, now since B and C are at same potential, will any current flow between B and C? Current will flow only if there is a difference in potential. The armament will have some resistance. So current cannot flow through a resistance unless there is a potential difference to drive the current. So since we took that B and C are at same potential, current cannot flow between B and C. So if I1 current is entering the resistance P and reaching the point B, it cannot go through gamma meter, it has to go through Q. So what current will flow through Q? I1 is entering point B, yeah. nothing is coming out of this path. Yeah, then I so how much current will go through Q? I1. I1. Very good. Similarly, I2 entered the point C. No current can flow through the alma meter. So how much I2. current will go through S? I2. So I2. So I2 current will flow through S. Agreed? Yeah. Okay. Now potential difference across the resistor P is by Ohm's law IR, which is I1 into P. I1 into P should be equal to potential difference across the resistance R, which is I2 into R. Agreed? Yeah. Similarly, if say the B is at a potential of 20, C is also at same potential of 20, 20 volts, and D is say at a potential of 0 volts. So what is potential difference between B and D? That is 20 now. Yeah, so C potential C difference C is 20, 20 minus 0 is 20. Potential difference between C and D is also 20, 20 minus 0, 20. So potential difference between BD and CD should be equal. That means potential difference across the resistor Q should be equal to potential difference across the resistor yes. S. Agreed or not? Yeah. So we can write VQ is equal to VS, which means by Ohm's law, IR, V is equal to IR, so I1 into Q implies I1 into Q should be equal to I2 into S. Agreed? So let us call this equation 1, let us call this equation 2. So if you divide equation 1 and 2, what do you get? I1 will cancel out. K by K is equal, equal to R, is equal to R by S. R by S. I should be divide, sir. If you divide it, you get rid of these currents I1 and I2 and you get a relation between yeah, the registers P, Q, R, S. Till now you did not know what is the value of P, Q, R, S. Mm -hmm. Now you have a condition which relates the values of P, Q, R, S. The resistors, whatever value you take, they should be in such a way that the ratio of P by Q should be equal to R by S. If B and C are at same potential, which would automatically mean that no current is flowing between B and C. Mm. So instead of gamma meter, if I keep some resistance here, unknown resistance, no current will flow across it. If P by Q is equal to R by S. So you can make a statement now. If the ratio of the resistors P by Q is equal to R by S, then no current will flow between B and C. So that's a new prediction. So this is called the condition for balance. This is called the condition for balancing the Wheatstone loop. So you have to adjust the resistors P, Q, R, S in such a way that it is balanced. Mm -hmm. When I say it is balanced, it means no current is flowing through the branch B, C. Mm -hmm. We can check it using a gamma meter in this branch. The needle of gamma meter will show zero deflection when it is balanced, when no current is flowing through it. That means automatically P by Q is equal to R by S. Mm. 
Understood? Yeah. So now we are going to implement this in the lab using the apparatus. So to implement this circuit of a beach stone bridge, we have a special apparatus which is called as meter bridge. So let's see, uh, we'll uh, see how to use it in the next video.